Hey guys, we're right here with Apothecal Marketing. We're gonna do a quick video to talk about a new feature in Duda, uh, Editor 2.0. If you're making sites in Duda, which we recommend, it's a great platform. Um, one of the things that they've just added is the ability to do a mega menu. So if you don't know what a mega menu, it is a menu that looks like this, where you can have all sorts of pop-outs and stuff under a location. But we're gonna talk about some recommendations for mega menus, whether you really need them, but more importantly, if you want one, how to do it, all right? So we're gonna dive into Duda. All right, so we're in the theme. Um, this is one of the free themes from um, Duda, and it's a pretty nice theme. Uh, but what we're gonna do is click on the, um, the navigation menu up here, and when you make changes to this, it'll change it throughout the site, wherever this um, navigation is. And so we're gonna edit content, and we're going to choose the mega menu, which is right down here. So say this is uh, you want something that's a fly out for services or something like that. Um, and so we're going to add that and you can see services pops up and now we're going to edit the mega menu. OK, and so this will come up with um, these pre established links and stuff for you. Um, you can change just like in, in any other sections or cells within Duda, you can change spacing, uh, you can change padding, um, the font sizes, all that kind of stuff. So you can go in here and add um, all sorts of different details. Now you'll notice as part of the mega menu, they have a default image in here, which is one of the nice things about a mega menu, right? That it's not just links, it's not just a drop down of links or something like that. Um, that you can actually have marketing and stuff in here. You can embed images, you can change those and that kind of stuff. And so uh, within this, you can have overlays of text, you can have multiple images, whatever you wanna do in this section. So, and this gives you multiple columns. You can also adjust the columns and you can uh, change the, the ordering and stuff like that using the different layers, right? So you can see in the layers menu here, it gives you the ability within here to move things around. So uh, you can move, for instance, that over if you wanted to, whatever you wanna do. All right, so within the menu itself, you have to add links. Now, one thing I will caution is I noticed that on some of these themes, when you open this up, you don't see anything in here. And it's just because the font color sometimes by default goes to clear or white and you're not gonna see it depending on what the background color is. So if you do the mega menu and you open it and there's nothing there, just look around for these boxes. They're probably in there and it's probably just a weird color situation. So you can change all of this text. You can add a link here. So say, uh, let's see what some of the pages in this default theme are. No, they don't really have much. So say whatever, we're just gonna create a page, blank page, we're gonna call it, uh, maybe your services are cleaning. Okay, and we're gonna add that page. Okay, so that's a page that's available. We're gonna say cleaning. And then you just link it like you would a normal page. So you're just gonna link here to an existing page called cleaning. Okay, and you can change the font color, keep it black, get rid of the underline. And now you have your first link. So in that menu uh, going forward, you're gonna have um, a drop down. So let's preview this real quick. We have services, and then we, there we have our mega menu. So if you on hover, you can see it leads to a blank page called cleaning under services. And so you can build this out. You can have as many in here as you want. Um, and I will add a caution to that in a second. And then obviously you can change your images if you wanted to change the images as well. Um, so let's edit the content again. Let's go into the edit mega menu. And so over here, just like anything, any of the other sections of Duda, you can go through and change the alignment and that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can change the background image. You can replace that with something else. Um, you can replace or get rid of the overlaying text. So maybe it's a promotional banner that says, you know, 10% off, or here's why you should sign up for our newsletter, all that good jazz. So it's very flexible. Um, you don't have to have it. You can get rid of that if you want. You can create, make this just a two column. Um, all of that is adjustable in this section. So if you want to go to the section, um, you can see there's settings for full bleed. If you don't want it to be full bleed, you can get rid of that. Um, and the different you know colors and effects and that kind of stuff. So if you want to change the background color, it's just like dealing with any other um, section. 
um, in Duda, so you can adjust those colors as you want to match your business colors um, rather than the, the default themes. So super flexible. Um, you can add other menus in here. Here's a good example where the text was, there's other boxes down here. And so the text is, was blank. So if you want to go in and there you go. So that there's other boxes here too, it looks like. Yep. So that's a good example of what I was telling you. So on some of these default setups, you want to make sure that there's not hidden links in here, um, that you're not seeing or hidden boxes anyway. Um, and then you can add more, you can duplicate these and add, add them in cut and paste and that kind of stuff, just like you would in any other section on the site. So it is a little clunky that you have to go in and add these manually, but any custom menu in Duda is going to be manual and you end up making a lot of custom menus. If you have various pages on the site that you don't want to appear in the menu, right? So by default, they're just going to show up in this menu. So let's, um, take a look here if I add um, well it's custom now so it won't do it but if, if you have like a non custom navigation if you add a page here it just shows up in the menu and so if you don't want all of them to be in that main menu um, then you you have to do a custom menu um, you can stack these in the navigation and stuff like that so it does create a drop down um, theoretically but because this is custom it's not doing that so you have to change that in the custom menu um, so that is one thing to consider. So in a normal menu, that's not the custom menu. If I wanted to have just a drop down list, I can make these sublinks under that main link in, in here and it will create the drop down. But now because I've made it a custom navigation, I have to do it for each. I have to make those custom. So very easy to do. Like I said, you can, um, make this very, you know, uh, marketing E <laughs> so you have all these links and stuff. Um, so some considerations, right? So keep in mind that when you're making mega menus, people love them. A lot of, um, clients like them because they're fancy uh, and they can get more links on the site, right? So they can just load this full of links and they feel like it makes it easier for navigation when it doesn't necessarily make it easier for navigation, right? If you have an overwhelming number of links in your mega menu, it's not necessarily a good usability, good use, user experience, and it kind of goes against usability. So be aware of just cramming this full of links. Um, also be aware that this is not going to be available on mobile. So you don't have mega menus on mobile. So those services and stuff that we were talking about. So this is an example of where this is not the custom on mobile, um, the custom menu. So let's go back to the editor so we can see this and we see pages. Now this is where, because it's not custom, I can make, um, the stacked, right? And so this is your typical experience of a, of a navigation is now it's below about. So that will retain that because you don't have a mega menu in, um, in mobile. Uh, the other thing, just real quick, if you're in Duda and you ever run into this, you do have to make sure that you go to the different, um, sizes. So like in your main navigation on, on, uh, on this page, um, let's go back to the home page. Uh, you can see that there's no drop down. You can have a different phone number and all that kind of stuff here. But if you go to mobile, if you change the phone number on the desktop, it does not necessarily change into mobile. So you need to go in here and customize your, um, uh, menu here and change this information. So you need to make sure you change the email address, make sure you put in your phone number, this message, this is all customizable just for the mobile experience. So, if you don't do that, people are going to come to this on, an, on their phone and see a uh, janky um, 555 number and stuff like that if you don't do that. So quick tip. All right, going back to uh, mega menus, one of the other things to consider, so obviously it doesn't work on mobile. And for a lot of people, mobile is the primary driver of traffic to your site. And so this isn't really that applicable to um, 95% of your visitors unless you do a lot of desktop. 
Um, like for instance, our company, we get a lot of desktop because people are at work looking for marketing agencies. Um, they're at work doing educational material like YouTube videos and stuff like that, which we hope that you know if they're watching our videos, they like and subscribe. Um, so we get a lot of desktop, but most retailers, a lot of informational sites will only get primarily mobile. So the, the mega menu doesn't really matter for them. The other question that I have, like I said earlier, is about usability. So uh, this is one of our clients. We did not design this site. This is done in WordPress. Um, but you can see here that they do have a lot of content and so that they're trying to organize it to make it available to their users. And so there's a ton of links in here and there's just these columns of links and columns of links um, that it's kind of going to be kind of difficult for people to find stuff, you know, just at a glance, right? Um, the other consideration is that there is some SEO impact on this. So um, this adds on every page that many more internal links to your site. And so there can be some positives for having mega menus in that you're getting uh, a lot of links to Google so that they can spider your site better. But there's also some negative um, impact on having mega menus. We're not going to get into the whole um, debate about that. There is debate because anything with SEO has debate. But there is a school of thought that thinking that very large mega menus can negatively impact your SEO, just watering down those links, watering down um, the importance of the links and how Google um, views them on your site. So just having on every page, you know, if you had every one of these be a big mega menu, um, it could potentially water down the value of those links and, you know, be a little bit of a drawback from your Google rankings. So again, that's a whole nother debate. I and mean, maybe we'll do a video about that in the future. I wouldn't let the SEO stuff concern you as much as just the usability. So if you've ever seen other sites where they have a ton of links in the mega menu and maybe a whole bunch of pictures, it's going to impact load time. It's going to impact usability from people just being able to, to look at stuff. Okay. So those are some of the considerations to think about. Like if you do want a mega menu, if you don't, if you don't want to bother, if there is a valid reason for you to get those, that information in there. And frankly, um, you know, it's always a trade off about, Hey, can we get some marketing, um, materials in front of people more easily, uh, as they're navigating the site for those people that are, are using a desktop. So just some considerations again, super easy to use, um, to set these up. Um, in, in Duda. So again, it's just, you know, a quick click, uh, to go to the mega menu option down here. Um, and then, uh, you know, build them at, as you will. Um, and like I said, keep in mind that, um, sometimes there's going to be hidden ones and stuff like that in here, but also that you can change this however you want. You can create new columns. You can make more columns. You can make fewer, you can make, uh, as many links as you want. You can add, you know, maybe make two of these cells be um, images, whatever you or your client wants. So if you have any questions about this, we're going to be doing some other updates about Duda that they've um, come out with some other um, features more oriented for um, design agencies and stuff like that. So if that interests you, we're going to be doing that in the future. But if you have any questions about using uh, mega menus, or if you have some questions about their SEO value, we can be happy to talk to you about that. Uh, leave comments, please. We love getting comments from you guys and being able to answer your questions. Um, so if you have questions, leave those. If you have comments, if you have other ways to do this um, in Duda, we'd be interested in seeing that. Um, but hopefully this was helpful. If you're in there making pages in Duda, uh, it's just yet another advancement that the editor 2.0 uh, has made and um, we're always looking for those updates from from them and uh, increasing functionality of the new editor in Duda. So have a great day guys. We'll talk to you soon and always leave comments. We love it. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.